Hey everyone, Dan here. Today we're looking at how to update G3 and G3 Atom using uh, the G3 app. One of the really great things about G3 and its design is the Bluetooth in G3 and Atom. And what that means is that as updates become available, that we can really simply just beam them straight into G3. Um, you know, the ability to do song lists and, and edit those and, you know, use Bluetooth in that manner is great. Um, but it just means that we can be really flexible and quick with the way that we do our updates. Um, and when they're ready, you can grab them straight off the website and beam them directly into your G3. So if you go to uh, thegigrid.com forward slash support, you will see links to the apps there. So we have the iOS app, which is the full blown app, but we also have the updater app available for Android users. Right, first of all, we want to establish what software you currently have in your G3. And that's really simple. We simply go into the menu. We go down to globals, the global setup. And in there we find a version. So go right on version and it'll tell you the version number of the software you're using. And also uh, it'll tell you the checksum for that software. Okay, so just make note of that, of the software. And when you go to the gigrid.com forward slash support uh, in software updates, you'll see the latest available software. So if there is new software, then this is how we update it. But if it's the same number, then you already have the latest software. So once you've downloaded the app, if you click on that link in the website, it will open up the latest software in the app. Okay, so you're basically ready to go. Now, before I connect to G3, um, what I find is, is good practice. You don't have to do this, but uh, it, for me, it gives us the most stable connection is I actually go to airplane mode and in airplane mode, I turn on Bluetooth. Now, when I connect the app to G3, the only connection that the phone has got is to G3. So it just won't get interrupted by, you know, text messages and phone calls. Okay, before we do our update though, I want to do a backup. I want to back up all my presets into my phone. So it's really simple. I go into the menu, I go down to global settings or global setup, and then I'm looking for Bluetooth. There's Bluetooth here. I've got four options. I've got save backup, restore backup, load song list, or update. So I'm going to hit save backup, so number four. Now it says connect with Bluetooth, then press four. So when I go into the app, I hit connect, I find my G3, press on that, and now it says connected. I hit dismiss to go back to the main screen. And on the main screen, you can see connectors highlighted in green, and that means we are connected. Okay, so I want to do a backup. I hit backup on the app, and it sat here waiting for me to do the backup. When I press four on here, you'll see the packets being received by the phone. So the packets are being sent here, being received here. So it's saving all the uh, presets that I've stored into G3 into the phone. So important thing to note here is if I've set the limit of the number of banks on G3 to 10, then it's only going to save 10 banks. If I've set it to 99, it will save all 99 banks. So I'm only using 10 banks, I set the limit to 10 banks and that makes that whole process so much faster. Um, you know, there's no need to save 99 banks if you're only using 10. Okay, it now says bank saved, it's received all the packets, the packets received on the phone is exactly the same. So what I do now is I simply hit save on the app and then I name the file. So I'll name this Dan's backup and then hit save. So now that I've got all my presets backed up, I can do the update to G3. So again, I'm gonna go into Bluetooth. Now, I'm going to go to update. I hit connect on the app. 
that's connected, and then I hit update on the app. At the top of the app, you'll see where it says firmware files. If I press in there, that's where all the firmware files for the G3 is kept. So I simply select the latest one, and then once I've got the firmware file, I'm going to hit transmit. So you can see now, G3 is receiving the packets. On the app, it says uh, 9,443 packets. So the first part of the update I need to take note of is how many packets are being sent. The next important thing to take note of is called the checksum. So when you download the uh, latest software update uh, at thegigrid.com forward slash support uh, in the software there, next to the software update, you'll see a thing called checksum. So all the checksum is, uh, it basically just checks that all of the packets that have been sent from the app to G3 have been received. If at any stage it hasn't received a packet, then the checksum will be different so that you know it hasn't received all the software. So there we go. It's received the correct number of packets and now it's doing the check. So there's the checksum. I can see that checksum is okay. So I hit four. And now it's programming that software into G3. And that's it. So we now have the new software in G3. So one thing I like to do after I do a software update is I will do a factory reset from here. So again, just go down to global setup. Factory reset, erase all, yes, really sure, yes, no backseas, done. And now it's gonna clear the unit and then I will use my uh, saved backup to put that information back into G3. The reason I find that works really well, if the backup has, um, maybe it fixed a bug in parallel settings, maybe it's fixed a bug uh, with MIDI. If I've got a preset that's using parallel settings or using MIDI, um, then it's a good idea to clear that preset and start again. So I find that by doing a factory reset and then reloading those presets back into G3 with the new software, then it sorts all those issues out. So there we go, uh, G3 has now been set back to factory. I'll go back down to global setup. Bluetooth, restore backup. Connect with the app again. Backup, load Dan's backup, and then hit transmit. And again, this will transmit those 10 banks that I've saved. Okay, there we go, finished. So press the menu, come out, and then I'm back to exactly the same um, presets that I had before I did the update, but using the new software.